So first, I apologize that I can't film my gymnastics. I only have a computer camera, and I don't have a camera or anyone to film it at the moment, but I know someday I will. So I have some tips and drills. You can do working your like handsprings, front handsprings, front handsprings, step outs, front arrows. I have so many ideas that you can use. One is scrunchies. Tie your hands together like this. Bend your wrists like this. You want to squat down, Swing down, swing up, jump up and back, bend your back, grab the floor with your hands, jump down. You can also tie your feet together. The push puts of using scrunchies or ace bandages to tie. Another way, if you don't have the scrunchies, you can use an ace bandage to tie your feet together. So, another thing is you can use that for kicks, to sh for conditioning, like get some kind of thing that can tie your feet together but looser so you could do kicks and I tried this but it made my ace bandage thingy rip so yeah that didn't work another a drill you could do if you're doing it on a mat and landing off of the mat do a hands down on the mat arch your back not quite a scorpion hands but your back arched the way you land when you're doing the big handsprings and jump down do it 10 times then try 10 big handsprings one thing I learned today during my gymnastics session is when you're doing the squat, you want the squat to be less than shoulder width, and you and you have to push off from your squat, and you want your squat to be a little bit lower than you usually do it. Swing your hands down and up. Keep them by your ears like this. Grab the ground because sometimes you can land on soil. So got to push soil up, and you and, you, and it's really a back, back layout. A lot of my big handsprings turned into one-handed big handsprings, and that's great, but I want to have two-handed big handsprings too, because gymnastics is an art form. And so, tying your hands together helps. It forces it to be two-handed big handsprings. I accidentally kind of did a back-twisting double layout. Not a double layout, a double-twisting back layout. I don't know how I did it. I did it, and then I fell off my mat. So, yeah. So, th so that other drill, pop downs, watch your back, the handstand, jump down, then do 10 big handsprings. Another thing is you do the prep. The thing you do, the start of the big handsprings. Put your hands by your ears, squat, throw your hands down, up, bend your back a little, and let yourself fall backwards a little bit. Another drill, which I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not, but do that, go into the squat, throw your hands up, throw them back, and throw yourself onto the mat with an arched back. One of my gymnastics teachers told me that once. When I was training martial arts, I did gymnastics every other Saturday. And that's not enough. I do it every day or almost every day. So that's not enough. But they, they said, that was one of the drills they gave us. Another thing is do handstands every day. 10 handstands to 50 handstands. There are so many kinds of handstands you can do. Try to hold them as long as you can. Try to walk on your hands. Try to turn around. Take two steps forward, then turn around and take two more steps. Try to take ten steps. Then you can try to go, in a hand, go into a handstand and super speed on your hands. Move on your hands with super speed. Another thing you can do is scorpion handstand. That's when you're in a handstand and you bend your back and try to touch your head with your feet. You might want to be in a mat when you first do that. I can't get my feet to touch my head quite, but I can bend my back. I want to work on the flexible back. One thing you do is do a bridge from the ground and from standing with your feet about shoulder width. Bend down, look for the ground, place your hand there, then move your feet towards your hands and your hands towards your feet and bend your back as much as you can. Then try to stand up. The way you do this, you arch back and rock back and forth to your hands, to your feet, then stand up. It's really hard. So another drill. So after you do that, so do handstands. Other th handstands, you do a stag handstands. And that's when one foot is bended in the split. And then there's front split handstands and split handstands. And split handstands are really important because... Well, in a split handstand, in a front walkover, part of the front walkover is a split handstand. In a front walkover, you hurdle, jump on your hands, do a split handstand, go back, do a back bend on one foot, then you, then with momentum, you push the other foot in front, 
and stand up. And when I do this without a mat, I fall. I do it on the grass. I do a fast front walk over and I fall. I land it and then I fall. And you also want to get your slow front walk with, and that you need a lot, lot, lot more strength. One drill for a slow front walk over is you do a back bend, keep whirling in the air, hold it as long as you can. Try to stand up from it. Another drill is to go on your mat and go into a back bend from one leg, one leg in the air. This will help with back walkovers too. So for back walkovers, you want to take a panel mat or two panel mats, put your feet on them, push off from the panel mat to do a back limber, put one foot on the first panel mat, one foot on the second panel mat, and push and kick and move, rock over onto your shoulders, push with your shoulders, kick with your feet into a split, then one foot, then back into like a front stance if you do more shorts, and then present. And first you have to master doing it on a higher, on a higher thing like a panel mat. So do that. Once you master it, I say a couple months of doing it, try on the ground. Try on the ground, even when you're trying to master from a higher thing like a mat, panel mat. It's really hard. I used to have it, then I lost it. That's the thing about gymnastics. You get a technique, then you lose it. Because God helps you 99.99999% at first. And then as you do it more, practice makes perfect. Progression is a series of failures, eventually success. So keep trying. If you get it wrong, it doesn't mean you don't have skill. It doesn't mean you don't have talent. It doesn't mean you don't have a gift. Pray for a gift. God says, ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened for you. So if you ask for talent in gymnastics, God will give it to you. And practice makes perfect. Eventually, he helps you less, and you fall. So you say, now, I'm not going to help you work on getting it. Try it ten times, then I'll help you again. Stuff like that. He doesn't take it. He's not an Indian giver, but he wants you to have it yourself. People that start older than age 10 can do it forever. But I started long time ago, probably when I was three. Then I then I grew younger, was stolen, and forgot. And it's okay, I started again. I was with I was in a martial arts class and every other Saturday they had a gymnastics class. And that's not enough. Now I do every day or every other day. Sometimes I don't feel like it. So another thing you could do is some games. One thing is the Bible gymnastics challenge. You have to do 10 big handsprings, and five of them have to be have that pop, have that kick, kick down, both hands on on the mat, on the ground, on the grass. has to be perfect. If you don't get five, read 10 Bible verses. You could do the stick it challenge, shoot the stick it Bible challenge. So you have to, it's not a punishment, it's just to help kids who want to learn gymnastics learn about God too. So you, you have to stick it five times out of your ten attempts. We start with the New Testament, it's easier. Then if, if in the Old Testament, Job, Isaiah, and Jeremiah are the easier ones to read. Some of them are history lessons, and it might be a little boring, but it's important to read them because we, we learn, because you learn from history to not repeat the mistakes that our ancestors made. I don't have ancestors, but some people do, so we don't want to make the mistakes they made. Another game you can play is the music gymnastics challenge. So you put a song on and see how many big hands pulls you could do in the song. When I did this, sometimes it got 19, sometimes it got 20, sometimes it got 21. The songs go from 3 minutes to 4 minutes, around that much time. So, and then you put another song on and you pick a different skill, say front hands or front hands pull step out, front walk over, or front aerial. I love front aerials, so it's my favorite technique. Now that you can do big handsprings, I like my big handsprings too. In a front area, you, you're in a lunge. You, you hurdle, go on lunge. Use your leg power on your, your right leg if you're right or if you're left with your left leg. You have to get both sides, work on both sides. Push off that leg, jump over your head, bend your back now, one foot, then the other foot lands. Try it with both legs. I haven't tried it with my left leg yet. I almost have it. I got it a couple of times, fall, fell a couple of times. So I don't have it yet, but I love doing it. So let me think if I can think of some other drills. Hmm. 
the elephant gymnastics challenge. I've never done that. You have to, you have to do a technique for each letter of the alphabet. A technique this starts with that letter. And if you can't think of a technique, you have to do 15 push-ups or somewhere between 10 and 50. So some th here's another drill you can do. Touch your toes, go into a back bend, stand up, touch your toes, go into a back bend, do as many as you can. Well, it will help you practice standing up from a back bend and it'll help you get more flexible at the same time. Another thing I was talking about is, st is stretching. If you want your gymnastics to have better form and be more pretty or beautiful, artistic, you want to have more flexibility. So doing back bends, both from the ground, from standing, because you need to do both, because you forget your basics, you'll forget your advanced and intermediate. So do handstands every day, do bridges from the ground every day. A good idea is do some aerobics every morning, then do some basic gymnastics. I haven't done this, but it's a good idea. I think I will. And so when you're in your back bend, walk your hands close to your feet or walk your feet closer to your arms. Hold it. Hold the stretch. Then stand up or lay back down. So when you're in the back bend, walk back and forth. Walk into your shoulders. Hold it. Walk into your feet. Hold it. You have to walk into your shoulders. Walk into your feet. The, mo the momentum of walking back and forth will help you stand up. So, that, so that's it for now. If you have any tips for me that could help me with my gymnastics, I'd love for you to give them to me. Thank you.